This is showing the hookup of the brush crusher grapple. As you can see, I'm just driving right up to it just like you would hook up a bucket or any attachment for the John Deere. You hook it in there, raise it up, curl it back, and you're ready to put the pins in. Here's the left side pin. It simply snaps in the opposite side. So we're ready to go. Here I have the brush in the grapple. Uh, I've let it extend out on both sides so I can take a chainsaw and cut it into smaller pieces. You see me cutting it here. Just do have to be a little careful because it'll kick back just like that did. But other than that, it holds it real well, allows you to cut up into much smaller pieces. Here you see me cutting on the opposite side. Kind of an overhead view here showing how easy it is with the grapple raised up at waist level. No bending or stooping. You can just cut them right off. It allows you to put like a 15 to 18 foot long branch in the grapple. As long as you center it, you can cut on both sides and, and have smaller pieces to contend with. Here I have a pretty good size load in the brush crusher taken around to our burn pile. I had handled it real well and made short work of a lot of limbs there at one time. To get the lower grapples underneath a branch, see I'm having some problems doing that. That is the, the hardest part of using it, but once you use it a few minutes that gets easier and you kind of learn how to slide those lower grapples on the ground. This shows one of the bigger piles of brush I was able to pick up. Uh, imagine trying to pick all of these up separately and then hauling them off. I was able to get every one of them in one try much faster. What I'm doing here, I'm picking up this brush, taking it over to a pile with some other brush, and I'll try to pick up most of it at one time. Here the brush crusher has no problems picking up these limbs. Here I am picking up the rest of the limbs much, much faster than picking them all up by hand. Here I'm picking up the remainder of the tree. The, the tractor and the, the brush crusher handled it well. 
I am getting some bounce, as you can see, but that's probably because I was carrying it a little too high. I uh, just didn't want to want to gouge into the ground, so I kind of overcompensated there. Here you'll see me lowering the tree on top of the brush pile. You have to just kind of lower the grapple and open up the top grapples at the same time and just kind of let the tree roll into the pile. I didn't do too bad of a job here, just a little, little choppy. I'm gonna try to pick all of this up here in front of me and put it over there and make it a bigger pile but a smaller area. Well, we took one long pile and made it one pile. Worked pretty well. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Want to give you an update today on the Brush Crusher 4200 grapple that I've purchased back last summer. Had it about eight months now. And so far, so good really like it the way it operates. No hydraulics. Didn't have to modify my tractor. My, my tractor does not have front hydraulics. It's a 3025E. That was going to cost quite a bit of money to do that. And I purchased this grapple for probably what it would have cost me or less. To, to put those hydraulics on the front. So I like that about it. It's almost exactly as wide as a tractor. Not only will it pick up brush, that's why it's called the brush crusher, but it will also pick up logs. I picked up some 12 to 14 foot logs with it. Pinch the grapples together. The upper one goes inside the lower one. And you have a piece of pipe right here on each side that stops it. The lower hooks on the grapple are 54 inches wide from outside to outside. And the upper grapples are 51 inches because they run inside of the lower grapples. You can see there, they, when, you, when you clamp down, they go inside the lower grapples. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I've picked up some pretty good sized logs and some pretty large pieces of brush. And so far I found nothing wrong with it. Works great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Brush Crusher 4200. Hope I've answered some of your questions and helps you decide whether you are ready to purchase one of these. I'm very happy with mine, it does what I want it to do, have no complaints. So thanks for watching and check out our other videos. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.